Some Belgian high school students have been stranded here in the D.C. area because of the volcanic ash, and they're still days from going home. As Mike Kaneen shows us, so one local community is reaching out to make sure the young people have some of the comforts of home. At the Ashburn Ice House, these foreign exchange students have learned the true meaning of the words home and guest. And I want these guys to go home and be able to say, we had a wonderful time because people in America cared about us. About a month ago, they flew to Sacramento for what was supposed to be a two-week exchange program. But on the way home, during a layover at Dulles, the group got word of the volcanic eruption. But the kids, when we gave them information, they were like really, really nice about it. Never, never ever had complaints. When the group ran out of airline hotel vouchers, some good Samaritans stepped in. If it were me, I would really hope that someone would do the same thing for us. Parishioners here at Galilee United Methodist Church in Sterling have become last minute host families for the group. But for the first few days, the teens had to sleep on cots provided by the Red Cross in a church rec room with only the clothes on their backs and whatever belongings they happen to have in their carry-on luggage. Some cried, called with the boyfriends, and yeah, for some it was a really hard time. Church members are now coordinating day trips around Washington for the teens, including this day of skating. Speaking to my wife at the dinner table, we both said to each other, man, isn't there some way we can help? If all goes as planned, the group should finally take off on Monday. Will you come back? Uh, definitely, yes. Teens say after all of this, they love Americans even more, but they'll also love being home. To be able to hug my parents and my sister and just... Your own bed. To be home, yeah, my own bed. Indeed, my bed. Damn, I want my own bed. In Sterling, Mike Kaneen, ABC7 News. Thank you, Mike.